everybody this is Bridget Morrissey and uh, we're live here at home at our home in Ledger how about you um, where are you tuning in from if you want to put it into the comments below that would be fun and so we're gonna get started so do you know how to sell your home in the current uh, stay-at-home orders so listen you don't want to spend your hours trying to find out how the new com uh, how the new state guidelines are so um, so what if I told you that electronics and virtual assistants are available to sell your home with little stress and so in this episode you're going to learn how we can market the new market your home in this current situation and what the mandatory guidelines from the state of Connecticut are and how documents get filed electronically we've been busy with closings we've been very busy closings new listings marketing our current listings and we're just very busy so again I'm Bridget Morrissey and thank you for being with me today let's get started so after you decide that you want to work with a realtor you need to fill out a exclusive listing agreement so the top in the bottom uh, the top of the first page and the bottom half of the second need to be filled out and this can be accomplished if we observe the six foot social distancing rule or it can be done electronically so price right so sorry about that little distraction um, putting in the microphone maybe you can hear me better now so we need to know you know you need to sell your house you need to put it at a good uh, price that is going to sell so if you like a listing power analysis to determine the price for which your home will sell, just let me know. Happy to provide it. I do give homework when we do a listing, and that is we have a seven-page disclosure uh, that form that needs to be filled out and, uh, and a couple of other forms as well. So that, again, can be done electronically and we don't have to be in person to do that. There's also another form called the dual agency agreement and that's if uh, someone from uh, uh, the same agency as myself, the same brokerage, or myself if I was to represent both sides, then uh, this form needs to be signed. So this is just a little bit about um, EXP and what how we operate and how we work. And one of the good things is because we're an online company, we nothing has changed through this pandemic for us, as opposed to other agencies who I know they've had to close their offices, work from home. So we have been doing this right along, and it's and it's um, it's really uh, I, I love it. This is how we operate. We have a virtual um, auditorium. We have a world, it's called the virtual world, and we go into the virtual world for all of our meetings and any um, trainings and it's, uh, or uh, leadership meetings. And the other great thing about eXp, which I joined about three and a half years ago, um, is it's a cloud-based agency, but it's agent-owned company. And, um, you know, and it's a virtual company. So we are way ahead. Last year, I mean, when I joined about three and a half years ago, this company, they had 3,000 agents. Now we are nationally. Now we're international, Canada, Australia, uh, a few other countries, um, and we have over 35,000 agents. So that's pretty exciting. If, you know, once you, once you sign with us, we do a lot of um, work right away to get your house marketed. And one of the things is we get, uh, we immediately put it on social media. We, it's placed on hundreds of websites. So as a, um, 
you know, in this uh, pandemic, we have some guidelines that we have to follow um, when we're selling a home. And it, you know, at times it's been a little bit frustrating, but it allows us to um, sell the home. We are essential workers, so we have not stopped working through this pandemic, and I've actually been very, very busy. So, the, and one of the things, um, I'm going to go through some guidelines. And one of them is we, uh, we are an essential uh, to real estate transaction and requires entry to a property for sale. So we're required to wear masks, and we ask that everyone wears a mask. So each real estate licensee uh, shall require clients to wear a mask when you enter a property. So anyone who does not leave the premises while a business uh, service is being provided, you know, they have to wear a mask as well. No one uh, will be required to wear a mask due to a medical condition. So it's recommended that employees and independent contractors wear gloves at all times as well. And we discontinue offering any kind of food or drink on the premises. We encourage strict limitation of entry into the premises to those essential, most essential to real estate transactions, specifically um, real estate agents, prospective buyers, and service workers. And we limit the amount of people that we bring into the house. So we don't, you know, these guidelines do not include parents, children, or friends. So we just usually take one uh one buyer at a time, one agent at a time. We go through with masks, gloves, and I also use Lysol wipes. So uh, we just want to keep uh, protect everyone involved. So home season, selling season is getting pretty hot, even you know though there is this pandemic. However, um, Ledger uh, has been pretty hot for me lately. This is just just a small sampling of what we've been doing lately. But we sent out this postcard. We do a lot of postcard mailings. And one of the, you know, uh, in, in Ledger alone, um, I sold one, two, three, four homes recently, very recently. I have another one that I think is uh, going to get an offer. And um, several others that are coming on soon. And these are just my, in, you know, sales in uh, Ledger. Also in Pocket Talk, we, you know, I sold uh, these two homes, and this was actually in December. But I do a lot of business as well as a condo. I also sold a condo in Pocket Talk in the last a couple of uh, months. And this particular property is in North Stonington. I love North Stonington. I love selling in North Stonington. And something about North Stonington. And um, even though we live in Ledger, um, so the house shown on this, it is under contract. Um, we hope to be closing on it this month, and it's a really a nice house, uh, one of my favorites. And so what do we do is we send out postcards. As soon as we list, we, um, you know, hire a photographer, get the postcards ready. We send the postcards out. We usually have an open house. Of course, we can't have the open houses right now. And we send them out to who we feel would be a, a perfect buyer. And we do a little bit of research to figure out, is it a second, uh, is it a um, move-up buyer? Is it someone who has a family? What type of buyer would, be, uh, would want this particular house? Here's another one in Mystic that I have. Uh, this has been on the market for you know, a short time. Nice property. Um, so anyway, we do, we send out a lot of postcards. No, I don't buy lists. Um, I know Kristen is asking, do I buy lists? No, I don't. Um, of potential homeowners. No, I don't buy lists. I, I find my own or I... Um, we have many different ways that we uh, figure out who homeowners, which the homeowners are. And uh, here's one house that I sold recently and I actually sold them this house and I've just now sold it again to someone else, these people that have moved their military. So um, this is just uh, some of the uh, kind of a testimonial that they put on Facebook, which I really appreciated the years. 
Now here's a house that I just recently sold in New London and uh, very nice people who owned it and um, oh this is a video of the house and that's another way that we uh, do the marketing is we do videos and we put those out on uh, all the social media. So we put them on Instagram, Twitter, Google My Business, YouTube, Facebook, wherever. And we put all we put these videos and you know Will, my husband Will does all of the um, videos and a lot of the marketing and does a beautiful job. Put this together today for us so we could share it with you. So um, we also do Facebook Lives and we're going to give you some uh, uh, some of the Facebook Lives that I've done and this a lot of, and these. I did started doing these when the pandemic started because I didn't want to do open houses. I wanted to make it safe. Hi, I'm Bridget Morrison. I'm a real estate agent, not an actress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Um, Welcome to 13 Avery Street in Mystic, Connecticut. Uh, if this is a beautiful colonial house, a lot of updates, a lot of renovations inside. And it's about 13, 1400 square feet and has 21 acres. And look at that in the back at the end. So come on in. And in this new normal that we have. I have on my gloves, got my disinfectant wipes, so as we go through the house, we keep everybody safe. So, come on in, we're going to the dining room. Hi, everybody. What a beautiful day. We're at the Norwich Inn and Spa in Norwich, and I wanted to bring your attention to the village. So, if you'd like to take a look at the villa that we have for sale, you would go to emre.us slash 1024. So let's go on the tour. I thought uh, we'd, we'd uh, do this outside to kind of uh, protect my cellar and to protect us and my cameraman. So we're going to do the outside and I want to give you a good feel of what, what this is all about. I think you're going to like it. If you've never been here, this is going to be a really good so here behind me is an old new spa, of which when you are uh, owner of one of the villas, you get to um, get certain discounts and the, um, they have a little pub, they've no. got all the um, spa features. So that's one of the benefits of being an owner here. So now let's take a walk down and I'm going to show you uh, what it is, what it's like. So right over to the left, you're going to see some tennis courts. They've got a new light. And we're going to you know, just take a little wander down around. And the unit that I have is really quite a, uh, one of the probably the better units in the whole villa, in the whole complex. It um, has granite counters, beautiful wood fireplace, a little deck that overlooks the golf course, which we're going to get to in a second. So I want you, I want to pay attention here, I want to show you the sign. This is private property, villa owners and registered guests only. So the villas, um, you can you can buy one to live in full time. You can purchase one to use as a DRBO Airbnb, and also you can come and spend a weekend or two uh, yourself. It's got a lot of amenities here. So I think we're going to take a walk over here. No, no, actually, let's go down. I want to show you the clubhouse. 
the clubhouse is probably not open today because you know, a lot of things are closed. So, but in the clubhouse, it's got this beautiful hot tub. And again, if you go to dmre.us slash 1023, you will see all of the pictures inside of this tent, of this condo. And you'll see um, it's got two full baths, one with a beautiful walk-in uh, shower, all renovated. The kitchen is all renovated. And I can't say enough about that view up to the golf course. You're going to see it in a minute. You've got an exercise uh, room. Okay, so, sorry about that, the, the uh, audio wasn't uh, too good on that, and that's, too, that's uh, disappointing because it really is a nice video. So, um, every realtor, you know, needs to have a website. So, if you're searching for a home, go to, um, w, uh, go to my website, BridgetMorrissey.com. You're going to find you can search for a home. And you can type in the town that you're looking interested in, and it'll come up just like it will on any other uh, search uh, for a home on any other website. So um, next down is our blog, and, and what we do is we try to we keep up with all the current events and what's going on in the real estate world. And so it's a good thing to uh, check out the blog and see what the latest is in the real estate world. And then if you go back top into search homes for sale in the neighborhoods tab uh, you'll click on that and get information on the different towns in the area and you can also get monthly real estate reports so take Stonington for example um, it just shows that in March of 220 a 2020 Stonington real estate market report indicates there were four two-bedroom homes sold for an average of 184 913 six three-bedroom homes and they sold for an average price of three fourteen nine oh eight and four uh six four-bedroom homes and they sold for an average price of seven forty five nine sixty three so you can get a lot of good information by going uh to my website checking out uh the real estate reports or you can just go bm bridget morrissey re real estate so bmre.us slash whatever zip code you want to check out and you'll get the report. So under the welcome tag um, tab, you'll find information for home buyers, sellers, for sale by owners, and a lot, a lot of more information. So the next tab uh, lists the homes I've sold, the sales price, and the date, in case you're interested. And then under services, you'll find a host of real estate-related uh, services that are available locally. And then uh, the one that I like is the reviews. Uh, you can take a look at all the reviews that I've received from different clients. And then the last, the next one is open houses. But of course, we can't do any open houses at the time at this time. But we will be pretty soon. We'll be getting back to it. So, um, but it has a lot more information on the open house sign, the open house tab. So if you, oh, we, we really want to thank the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce for setting up this today's Facebook Live broadcast because we know, Kristen, this was no, probably not easy to do. And um, we uh, so feel free to let the, the uh, Greater Mystic Chamber know what you, know that you do appreciate the work with a comment, a like, and a share. Thank you. So um, as you see, this is some of the websites that um, that your listing would go on uh, once you listed with us. It would go on the MLS and it would go out to all these different websites and many, 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 many thousands. So if you're thinking of getting your home ready for sale, we've got some tips for you how to declutter your home. And uh, this is a great opportunity through this pandemic when pe a lot of people are home and can't go out, can't go to work, um, to, you know, declutter your home. And I'm sure a lot of you have already done that. Um, so, you know, ask yourself a lot of questions. You know, how long has it been since I've used this? How, how will I store 
store it if I decide to keep it. Do I like it? Is it broken? Do I actually need this? You know, a lot of different questions you want to ask yourself. And in the kitchen, you want to um, throw away food past the expiration date. Take pictures of recipes and <clears throat> store them online on your phone. Get rid of any unused products, utensils, appliances, etc. And also those plastic bags, which are now coming back because, um, you know, we, uh, <clears throat> we were using the reusable bags. But, um, and then, you know, clear out that freezer of food older than three months old. And, uh, those, and then the living room. Okay, how about those books that you finished reading that you probably won't read again? Why don't you donate them? Clean out the old CDs, videotapes, DVDs, uh, clear unnecessary items, uh, hang hooks on the, on inside of your doors and cupboards so you can hang towels, jackets, backpacks. And add all of your sentimental values in one box and put it in storage. Now your bedroom, you know, let's store all your off-season clothes, divide uh, the drawers into smaller compartments. Use suitcases, and, you know, in other bins of storage. Uh, how often do we use our suitcases, especially right now? Um, group small items together and then, you know, donate any clothes that aren't worn. Of course, it's hard because no place is open right now, but just, you know, put them aside and then as soon as things open, you can bring them to your favorite place that you donate to. So, what, what you can do to get your house ready to sell. A number one, clean beyond the basics. Clean the vents, clean the baseboards, empty and wipe down your bathroom cabinets and drawers. Make sure that your light switches are clean uh, around the doors, the doorknobs, things like that. Freshen up your walls. It, you know, you'll get more attention. You'll get, you could possibly get more money if your house is freshly painted. Organize your space, clean and organize the closets, which I'm sure many of you have already done, and then tidy up your entryway and clean your doormats. Important. The other thing that's important is your lighting. You know, replace the light bulbs and, and, you know, make sure all the light bulbs are working. Clean the lamps and shades of your, you know, the shades of your lamps. And wash the blinds and wash your um, uh, curtains. And while you adhere to the stay in place order, dig into the kitchen, clean out, organize the closets. Again, I think a lot of you have already done that. Wipe down, declutter your cabinets. Uh, sweet, and then go outside, tidy up your yard. Who doesn't want to do that on a beautiful day like this? So, um, you know, do all the things that are needed outside. There's some smart devices that you can uh, help renovate your home. I know we've used a few of them. Smart speakers, uh, smart plugs. Have you tried those? They're pretty cool. Smart locks, smart doorbells, smart bulbs, smart switches. Everything's smart today. And um, sometimes the problem is they're so smart that you can't figure it out. Anyway, do it yourself home security, smart appliances, thermostats, curtains, toilets, heated floors, all kinds of cool things that, that do um, help with renovating your home. So let's talk about why your house hasn't sold. So if you have your house uh, on the market and you um, are thinking about uh, why hasn't your house sold, I think the number one reason could be repairs or maintenance. So take a look around. Go around your house. Take a look. Do you need to have things? Maybe there's some touch-ups with paint. Maybe your ceiling needs painting. Maybe the uh, front steps need attention. Uh, there's all kinds of things that uh, you, you might need. And another reason your house hasn't sold, what's the price? Do you think the price is too high? Well, if, obviously if it was too low, it would have sold very quickly. But too high, if you get showings and nobody's making any offers, you know it's too high. If you're not getting any showings, hey, let's reduce the price. So you also want to have your um, access to the house. Uh, you don't want to uh, deny any showings because then, then they become disinterested and then they never come back and, and ask for another showing. So make sure that you can, that agents can access your house. And then negotiations, well, that's once you get into a, uh, you know, and make an offer, then we get into the negotiations. And the experience of an agent, obviously experience helps. There's no doubt about that. However, you know, you have the new agents. Hopefully they're working with an experienced agent. If not, then I would ask 
them to get an experienced agent to work with because experience is important uh, in, a, in a transaction. And then uh, maybe it's time for a new agent. Hey, you know, maybe uh, this agent isn't marketing your house like you'd like or, or uh, not doing showings like you'd like, but uh, maybe it's time for a new agent. So I thought I'd do a little fun, take a poll. What style is best? Now, tell me what style here is is you like best and that you would like to live in, or maybe you already live in it. Um, I just thought it could be a little fun. If you want to know uh, what the value of your house is, you know, you can just text me. You can um, email me, whatever. Okay, so I want to give a shout out to Kim and Tony Lowe. They have a Lowe's um, storage and um, uh, moving. And uh, Kim and uh, Tony Lowe, right. They, um, Kim asked if I would just talk a little bit about some of the things they do. They have uh, mobile storage units now, which is uh, very popular. Dumpsters, junk removal, moving trucks. They do moving. They'll move you. Uh, and... If you um, call them, let them know uh, more than one service, you'd get 10% off. So uh, give them a call. Give them a holler. They're right in Waterford. Um, it's Kim and Tony Lowe at 442low.com. So um, thanks for attending our Facebook Live event. And I want to thank Kristen and um, Peggy at the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce for organizing it and uh, allowing us to be a part of it. So if you have any questions, again, Bridget Morrissey, 860-857-5165. And, um, you know, I'd love to uh, meet some of you. Stephanie, thank you for um, Craftsman to Cape. Yeah, that's one of my faves, too. So thank you for uh, doing that. I appreciate that. So if I can be of service to anyone, feel free to contact me and enjoy the rest of this beautiful weekend. Thank you.